even we all Indians are the same, then why do we have such different diverse facial characteristics? The other question is that if we are all the same people in India, how did racial facial differences arise between North and South and the Northeast? See, India is not a small geographical region. It is an enormous subcontinent. The distance between Kashmir and, uh, and the tip of southern India is greater than the dis distance between Sweden and Greece. It's an enormous geographical region. India is the original foundation zone of the out of India migration. It is the oldest known population that we know of who have been living in one region continuously because it is around 70,000 years old. There is bound to be so much genetic diversity within this geographical region, within this enormous subcontinent sized geographical region. And yet, because it is the same population for 70,000 years, there is an enormous amount of diversity as well. So the climate in Northern India is very different from the climate in Southern India. So people who have been living, uh, families, who have been living in northern India for several thousand years, they are bound to have lighter skin. And families who are living in southern India are bound to have darker skin because they have been living for thousands of years. Similarly, east-west, these regional uh, differences in, in features, skin color, hair color, eye color, facial features are bound to happen. And yet genetic evidence demonstrates that there is no genuine, there is no actual difference. There is no significant difference in the genetics between the people of North India and South India. Now, when it comes to the northeast of India, that is a different story. There have been several migrations from Eastern Asia into the northeast of India. People of Tibeto-Burman origin, people of, people of uh, Sino-Tibetan origin, and so on. Uh, migrations from the Yunnan region of, of, of uh, Eastern Asia, migrations from... Uh, Burma and the Thai territories, Thailand, etc., of, of eastern southeastern Asia. So these are genetically slightly different populations. But those are also descendants of the original ancestral founder zone, which was in India. But because they've been away for so many thousands of years, their uh, morphological characteristics changed somewhat. And that's why you see these uh, different features in the northeast of India. But even if you look at the... Uh, genetic lineages in northeast of India, you do find the Indian origin R1A1A even in Manipur and other places, right? So it's a very complex scenario. The northeast is a special case because there have been so many migrations into the northeast from eastern Asia. That's why they look different. But still, there is a significant ancestral Indian genetic component even in northeast of India. So that is the reason why there are so many facial and skin color and hair color and eye color differences all over India because it is a very, very, very large geographical region. It looks small on the map. We are used to it. But if you compare it with Europe, you will see the enormity of the Indian geography. And that's why because of this, because of the incredible antiquity of the Indian population and because of the Indi incredible size of the Indian ge geography, that's why you have all these local regional variations within the overall uniformity of India's genetics.